as you walk into your 501c3 church with your Bible to praise God, know that God is unhappy with Texas. He hates the fact that we ignore the orphans in the land, that child sacrifice is the number one cause of death in Texas. Woe to you, sir. Though you, though you ignore us, we know you know, and you will be held accountable as a man in this community who should be shoring up the gates, defending the innocent. God does not want to hear your prayers unless it's prayers of a repentance. Texas, let's repent. Let God restore us. We are more than conquerors. Satan does not need to prevail into our churches, into our communities. Maybe, this church probably know. could, just all by itself, right? How you doing, sir? Steve, hey, I'm Todd. I've met you before. Hey, hey Steve. <laughs> I wanted to tell you, Todd, uh -huh. you offended me this morning. <laughs> Good. I was walking in and you said, God doesn't want to hear your prayers, you man with the Bible. He oh, yeah. wants you to repent. Right. You know, I've been repenting this morning Good as morning. I did my read the word and stuff and uh, um, I, I, I guess I, all I heard was the, the clanging gong yeah you know what I mean yeah you might have a lot of love and you might God's put certain things on each of our hearts uh -huh. you know what I mean yeah so I'm, I'm just telling you as a brother uh -huh. you know it broke my heart yeah for you to attack me like that this morning you know and, yeah. and uh, you know, I know you have a calling, but I know that there's certain things when you, what you're doing is offending me. Uh -huh. I need to look at what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, right? God wants me to take right. the, the two by four out of my eye before I start trying to take right. the speck out of my brothers. That's right. So that is right. That is yeah. right, man. So yeah. I just, you know, I just wanted to to let you know that. I know, I know you. I know you got a good heart. You you're doing what you you feels important, but we just got to watch out stepping on each other's. Well, uh, it, because boy, that's what I was telling my brother-in-law. It is it not to love my brother, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. Yeah. And then to love your neighbor as, as yourself. yourself. That's right. And and so when when I when I we feel that division or that anger or that right you know, growing between us, it's like, hey, wait, wait a minute. This has got to be about me. This has got to be about me. You know. And I guess yeah. uh, what does he say? What 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 are your uh, quarrels and argues amongst you? Don't we all follow Jesus Christ? Yeah. You know, we all have our own gifts. Yeah. Like, I can go to Houston and I can help muck out them houses and yeah. go again and help them put them back together. But, um, I, you know, I, I, I pray that you don't demean me because uh, I'm not more involved in uh, abortion. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, some people's hearts are tugged that way, just like right. towards animals. My daughter, she, abor she, she didn't abort, but she adopted. And we're friends with the adopted family and it's such a blessing that we preach that it is a blessing. because i got to live that yeah you know my 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 granddaughter i'm fixing to go see in the hospital my oldest daughter chose not to abort when she could have but yeah i mean you know we have a i have a whole lot of that yeah but i'm telling you i don't know it hurt my heart this yeah. one well a lot of times and i and i don't know you okay um, but a lot of times the reason things hurt our hearts is because God is breaking it up. It is making it better ground. And, you know, I, a humble man, God lifts up. A prideful man, God pushes away. And literally in Texas, I mean, third, I mean, I know. I, we adopted six kids out of foster care, right? I see these kids' pain and their hurt and the abuse that's gone on. Why do we have 13,000 of them that are waiting to be adopted? And 30,000 churches and 70,000 pastors. Not only that, but it's, the people are the churches are full of people. Like, why can't we adopt them? Yeah. You know, like yeah. the fruit of the land shows that the Christian, the American Christianity, is not following the Spirit of God. Is not doing what God wants. It doesn't love the things God loves and hate the things God hates. You know. And then for 60,000 kids to be murdered every single year in Texas, and for this state representative to actually table a bill to make it illegal where many Christians would say let's make it illegal but he doesn't want it to come to a vote and your pastor is okay with him doing that like throw them both out you know like let's make it work like the Bible says woe to you who make it when it's decrees you guys are uh, not protesting the church no but there's uh, somebody in the church yeah that it, you guys are yeah. protesting 
No, we're not protesting him. See, he just, see we've been, since 2009, we've been going to churches. Okay, we go to churches, we go to high schools, we go to town squares, we go to Christian concerts and stuff, right? Uh -huh. um, it just was time now, because we've been doing all these other churches, to come here, all right? And um, Pete, uh, Pat uh, Fallon is a state representative, and he just so happens to go to this church. Uh -huh. And we went around to the um, Texas Republican Convention with um, these right here, and we said, um, look, you're pro-life, right? Mm -hmm. And we said this to these men, you're pro-life, right? And they're, oh yeah, we're pro-life, you know? And we said, okay, you need to repent of being pro-life. It is wicked and evil, and here's why. Because pro-lifer regulation regulates when, where, and how babies can be murdered. Mm -hmm. You need to stop making iniquitous decrees, the Bible says. Make right laws, defend the innocent, make it illegal. We should not make bad laws. Repent, you Republican, Republican senator or representatives, you delegates, repent and be abolitionists. We only did that for three days. There's like eight or nine of us. Okay, the number one plank of the Republican convention when they go to the state, the number one plank is now to make abortion illegal in Texas. Then some representatives came out with the bill to make abortion illegal. Pat Fallon and your pastor opposed it. They didn't tell you guys about it. They didn't say, hey, we need to we call our senators, call our representatives, do this, do let's make abortion illegal. They didn't do that because they don't want to say that it's murder. They don't well, want to make it we, illegal. From, from, from the pulpit in here, it is proclaimed that abortion right. is. Right. And, and, and right. I know. What you said. I know. My it parents is, go to church right. here. I know. Right? But, yeah, our but, parents go to, but, go to but, church here. But I guess what breaks my heart, uh, it may be said that we can defame Christ. Sometimes when we attack each other, the outsiders love that. I don't, right. You know what I mean? Right. But we're they guilty. I mean, that. this is totally legal in Texas, this and it's totally not being true. defended. And, and, and my, my wife. Like, how can a guy in this church who could actually help to make it illegal hide it and cover it up and say, no, we're not going to have a, we're not going to take, we're not going to even vote on it? We need to vote. We need to vote for people who will vote that in because right. I don't know how it ever became law or it how, didn't how, it didn't you know all it was was a, um, a Supreme it, Court ruling a, ju a judgment but it never became law in Texas it was illegal to have an abortion before that but godly men went to sleep yeah and that's all we're saying that's we're not I saying talking about yesterday. I'm not saying I hate you or I'm mad at you all I'm saying to you and all the other men who yes. live and guard their gates, who protect our children, who protect our cities and towns. All, I'm not talking about the police. I'm talking about the men in the community. We need to stand up and do what's right. And woe to in you men so, that don't. In so many areas. Well, the, the only with, their, with their boys, with our, yeah. in our homes. And yeah, we're not being godly area. in our home. We're, we're, we're all laying down. And right. People spend more time watching football than defending those who are football. being murdered. I think the right. problem when you Amen. say when pro-life is regulating abortion